Hello there, it's just a quick intervention, quick little segment we're filming. I got Vaughn here, and obviously we're knee deep into bills and garage stuff. Uh, we wanted to share, take this opportunity while we were doing it to share this and, and explain uh, to the viewers uh, what we've discovered along the way. Now, obviously, we've been doing the Hornet build, as you can see behind me here. Um, and uh, part of the thing was that one of the issues we had was if this was going to be a rough build we wouldn't really have minded but as we've been doing the build it's looking such a nice bike that the fairings as you can see here that were on the bike um pretty badly damaged when you look at it from the eyes a quite pretty extensive crack and scuffs where the previous owner has dropped it and, and had an accident on it um so we were faced with and i'll show you here now as well there was there's like a repair there somewhere uh, I don't know if you can if that's picking up on the camera um, there's there there's another scuff here and there's another scuff there now so what that was giving us was an issue with it if we wanted to repair these this was going to be um, quite an extensive job for us the way none of us are uh, panel beaters or, or uh, sprayers uh, I do spray paint, but I don't normally do sort of like fair ends and things like this yet. I am looking to go into it, but suffice to say, we have to make a decision. Will we, you know, the cost of repairing these for us or giving them to somebody was going to be reasonably, it was going to be a tidy chunk of money to get them done nicely. Um, so that, but what's happened is by chance, uh, Vaughn, yeah, he has, um, Stumbled across. I mean, how did you uh, f come across them? Well, I searched eBay Marketplace and just typed in Hornet Fairings because this is a sport model and a bit less um, popular. And I wouldn't get anywhere in the colour or the condition I wanted. So I just Googled um, CB uh, 600FS Blue Panels. Um, and then came across like on the second page of Google this company called I think it's called Akimoto yeah we've got a bit of a discussion yeah. going on here yeah. so you think Akimoto yeah. it's A double C I, I Moto yeah um, and it's a French company in, yeah. based in Calais isn't it yeah, yeah. Great, great great France right and like the uh, exact Moto yeah and almost too good to be true to think they had brand new old stock which yeah. hadn't been fitted to the bike at all um, so I took a bit of a gamble thinking by the time they got to me they'd be smashed a bit so you know yeah. rubbish condition or whatever but when they turned up they turned up in perfect condition and when I opened the box I just could not, could not believe well, this is the quality. Yeah, just, you told like, us, you sent us a quick video, and we were struggling. Like, really? Okay. Yeah. But so, I mean, price wise, it's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, uh, yeah price wise, the the front cowl was about 25 quid, phew, and the right. side fairings were a similar price. So right. That was about 70 quid to replace the whole front clip. Yeah. And the main cost then, because I did it on two batches. Um, as the parts turned up on the site, I paid about 40 quid in delivery, but to be fair, yeah, the box didn't have a market. Right. Well, we're not going to sort of bore the audience too much here with the uh, prelim, but suffice to say, we, you know, Vaughn made the decision he was just going to buy replacements and take a gamble, basically. And this gamble has paid off, and this is what we're about to show you. So obviously you can see the state that we've got and the decision we made rather to go down the route of replacing rather than trying to repair. And we weren't sure what we were gonna get, but I'm just gonna move these. And if I, if my lovely assistant, Juan, can uh, just unbox and uh, take these off. Um, I'm gonna show you the, co the cowl we've got set up here. This is the cowl that arrived. Uh, we've, we've put the old, screen onto the new cowl and this is absolutely well it's brand new it is literally brand new it's like having a brand new bike it's gonna be there's not a marker on it uh this is the unboxing 
and they are absolutely gleaming for the sake of was it 70 to 100 quid with postage or whatever yeah basically 25 quid a section 25 pound a section yeah, right you know they still got look at this they're brand new there's not a mark on them we couldn't believe it when you were unwrapping them so that's all it's for it's not just to show like oh look look you know look at this it is we're happy oh, with man, it's like what you couldn't find if you look but we wanted to share the details of it with you as well because i've i've got an issue as an aside i've got a vfr over here and one of the things with the vfr i've got is that the front cowl has been replaced and it's darker than the older ones so i was gonna actually spray that to match but if i can find another one to just put on i'm gonna do that because this has shown me the way of like this is a better option at those prices that is unbelievable for brand new i mean they've been obviously stored on the shelf yeah from even, from new you've even got the uh, factory mm. oh, did add masking tape on them right yeah to keep, uh, the to, keep to keep the brass from uh Focus, yeah, yeah. that's it. The, all the fittings are more. brand new. You can't, and the foam yeah. hasn't even deteriorated. Look, which that's normally the first thing to go with weather and things, isn't it? Brand new. So, I we just want to make this little snippet. To, so, hope you like it. We'll put a link in the desc description for you, um, and hope that maybe you find the same sort of bargains we did from it. Don't take any horn, horned parts though, because Vaughn wants some. Yeah. You can have anything, but not the blue one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You can have horned parts, but not the blue horned parts, right? Not for the S. Right. We'll catch you later. Take care. Ta-da.